I made it back in time. Good morning to you all. Hey everybody, it's Naj and Jay, live in the morning. Welcome to your morning cup of local news and real world mess. <laughs> I don't know what could possibly be hard about that. I don't know. I I'm think if I anything. get psyched out. I it's guess, totally a yeah, mental no. block that you're it creating. Is, it is. Local you, news. No, what's no, no, no. happening in real world mess? <laughs> I'm going to take your phone from now on from the beginning. I think and you, you, can just you need slide to have a little it. more sympathy for me. No, no. The camera cuts on and I'm like. Not all the lyrics that you are able to memorize and have no Is that what you with. think? <laughs> yes. I mean, I've watched you do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, so guys, yeah. what's happening? Are we rocking Let's and rolling see. properly? I want to make sure you That's can see. What I'm going to check on as well because yeah. we had a whole show one time. <laughs> so what's the first thing? Because otherwise we're taking two minutes to say absolutely nothing. Oh my god. So flowers. Yes. Over the weekend, um, Nataki, mm -hmm. the owner of the Soul Firm, had the Soko Night Art Market. I think okay. I said that right. Okay. And from what I heard, it was lit. Okay, mm -hmm. baby, it was on point. And that's in you know Nataki fashion. Everything mm -hmm. she touches is absolute gold. So congrats to you, my dear, and to all who were there. I wish we could have been there. Um, Jay was with family members, and I was at my mom's birthday party, but our hearts were with you. Also, Randall with- Hold on. I want to reiterate. I want to always dovetail. Like, Nataki is one of the jewels of our city. Doing Show is. all of the things the right way. She's Show functioning is. with independence. She's- functioning from her own philosophy and she is playing a real role in making Wilmington and our state and this region cool. So thank you. She's just effortlessly, effortlessly fly. She's got style. She's got class. She's you got know what grace. I'm saying? She's the opposite of me. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So also Randall Law. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> cool kids. Mm hmm. Cool colored, cool colored kids. kids. Even I, yes. <laughs> cool colored kids yeah. generation. He gave away a hundred pairs of sneakers this weekend at his event, but not just a hundred pairs of sneakers, a hundred laptops. Yo, pause. I'm just going to say I'm jealous because he sent me the invite and then when I tried to get in there to go, it said it was already sold out. So that's how slow I was. So oh, wow. congratulations to you, brother, for pulling that off. But I'm, 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 I'm hurt that I was too late, but that's my fault. I was slow and I couldn't get in. So I want you to know that's why I wasn't present because your email said, sorry, we're full. So I reacted too slow, which is dope. You know what I'm saying? Well, the, the event was packed. So whether we that. were there or not, yeah. Randall knows how to get people hyped up. Okay. So congratulations to you. If you don't, if you guys don't know what Cool Color Kids Generation is, you need to go and look him up, look them up. Um, he's trying to change, you know, he's trying to change the outlook of KKK. So cool colored kids and, and making it about empowerment. And I love what he's doing. I love his message. He's also trying to change the narrative within the city, um, where he's from in Wilmington. So if you don't know who that person is, please go and check him out. And same with the soul firm. Cause she has in, I think a few weeks, she has a new exhibition coming out which is going to be absolutely amazing because she knows she has an eye for art. Um, so go look up both organizations. But the point is, the bigger point for both of these things that we just mentioned already is that you see people using their businesses to do more than make money. Yes. Um, they're using it to give back and to, you know, help our community. And that's, if, if everyone functioned that way um, and, and thought, you know, much more outside of just profit, um, the world would be a better place. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. The world will be a better place, and the world. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> what's not happening in Delaware? Let's keep talking about all the things okay. that aren't happening. Let's talk about the things that aren't aren't happening. See that what I did there? That was odd. See the pointed? That was odd. Yeah. Look, look at that. Mm, <laughs> look at my feet. That thing is long, baby. So, <laughs> tonight um, at the House of Laughs on Union Street, we got Wine Down Wednesdays with Gerald Chavis. If you, it starts at 8. If you haven't been to that yet, 
You gotta go. I'm telling you, Mr. Gerald, don't play. I mean, he plays. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> he plays, but he don't play. <laughs> <laughs> oh god y'all get it y'all get what I'm trying to say yeah, that, that was reminding me of my, my uh, I'm going off on a tangent but it reminded me of a recent conversation I had with my son saying that yo Art Tatum is a bad man he's like he's a bad man no no no, oh, no. <laughs> you have to no. go ahead <laughs> right, right, yeah. Right. <laughs> so yeah head on over to House of Laughs uh, get you some food get you something to drink and listen to some good music tomorrow at 3 p.m. at the Bellevue Community Center is the Opioid Awareness Summit. And this is a family event to help educate people and their families um, on what's going on with, um, what do you call it, the opioid epidemic? Yeah, I mean, the opioid, however you want to phrase it, sure. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's more than opioids, but yeah, absolutely. Right. Um, tonight, you have a, we have a back-to-school bash at the chick fil -A. At the Concord Mall from 5 to 7, and with every meal, there will be, I said, what? No, 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 I'm listening, because no. I there have a, a lot of funny comments, and... There is a free... Oh. Yeah. Yep. Yer. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> there is a... Oh. <laughs> you froze! Y'all don't even know what we're laughing at. Some people watching it right now might know what we're laughing at. Ha! Keep going. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. like I said, back to school bash at the Chick Filla mm -hmm. at the Conquer Mall from five to seven tonight. With every meal, you get a free arts and craft for your kids, and I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of other stuff. Um, so, if you're still out there um, back to school shopping and you 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 know want to get a meal while you're doing it, head on over to to Concord Mall. Um, then on Friday, we have the Summer Music Series at 7 p.m. at Wilmington Brew Works. That is actually, Wilmington Brew Works is on Miller Road. Right across from the Home Depot where yes. Pizzeria Metro is and Sleeping Bird Coffee. Yes. It, is, it is one of my favorite small places yes. in our entire state. You can get a whole state. bunch of stuff in there. And there's also behind La, Pizza Me La Pizzeria Metro, Metro, there's a little farmer's market. Did you know that? Yes. And the, the, the chicken little... truck. Oh, and the barbecue chicken That's truck. what people don't understand. Yes. Like, I, okay, let's you just take You get an espresso, a listen, pizza. Let me explain. Some vegetables. You can listen to some music. And you get some, some barbecue chicken. So, oh, my God. something else to not do in Delaware, right? So, I want to, because I've talked about this before, but we just did it, you know, in summary. This little small shopping center, whatever you want to call it, right across from the Home Depot. Oh, no, it's literally across from Haynes Park. Okay, right across from Haynes. Fine, right. fine. You're right. Good. Thank you. Right across from Haynes Park. Um, again, in my opinion, these are my opinions. Mine. <laughs> I'm not knocking anybody else. Pizzeria Metro has, you know, the top pizza in the city. Okay? There are other places that are equally great or whatever, I'm going to put it, but like that's my favorite place for pizza. My favorite place, okay? They also, pizza. they have my favorite place, one of my favorite places, my favorite place personally for espresso. The espresso at Sleeping Bird is fantastic and they have obviously you great coffee too. You won't be a too. Sleeping Bird after you drink oh, that. Oh boy. Also, <laughs> <laughs> there's the market behind Pizzeria Metro. There's Wilmington. They just opened that. It's so cute. That's been there for a minute. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, oh. Yes. There's also Wilmington Brew Works, which we started off the conversation with, which yes. has great beer and like. And you can also spin records there. Like you can bring your own records. And the owners of that place are super cool. Like yes. we interviewed them for one of the Clifford Brown Year Round to go series. And, talk to them again. and then there. the Chicken Truck. What's the name of it? Oh no, I'm tripping right now. We interviewed them with Clifford Brown too. I know. Um, but they have a fantastic yeah. hot hot chicken, like fried chicken truck there. Yes. Um, and it's all right there. So you know, spend time in that area. Yes. Yeah. And then you can go to Haynes Park. There you go. Beautiful. Um, <clears throat> and then also Saturday. You have the back to school backpack giveaway at 10 a.m. at the Newcastle County Police Department, and they will be giving out backpacks and other school supplies. So, if you guys are in need of school supplies and you're on a tight budget, try to hit up as many of these back to school giveaways as possible. And I'm telling you, they're all over the city um, and the state. So, honestly, if you just Google back to school giveaways in the state of Delaware, and I'm sure they'll all pop up. Mm -hmm. um, also this weekend, we will be hosting the Reggae Roots Festival in Townsend, Delaware, August 19th and 20th. Um, 
starts at 10 a.m. and I think goes to 5. There's a plethora, a cornucopia (laughs) (laughs) of artists, food vendors. There's Little Jamaica for the kids and camping for other people. (laughs) I mean, for people who like camping, who want to go. Camping is great. For people who are interested in trying camping, it's there for you. And if yes. you've never tried it before, this is an opportunity. There so you go. There's a lot available. And again, did you already say Little Jamaica? Yeah. About that part. Okay. So we'll be hosting it. There's going to be, you know. If Jay comes in with beaded blocks, <laughs> just know <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. So ever since my hair got long, long, and I'm not saying this you would because. You're terrible with locks. You really would, because you just don't have the demeanor. No, you don't no. have the swag. Nope. You nope. don't have the melanin. It's that's just, not true. You ain't got enough. No, no, that last part was complete BS, quite frankly. Nah. Okay, nah. you want to talk about market? I like my men with dreads, Doc. <laughs> Bob Marley. I'm trying to get, compliment my husband. I'm going oh, great! To- compliment him, but you don't have to yeah. knock everybody else who's not yes. going with dreadlocks. That doesn't make sense. Just you. <laughs> you know? oh my God. But you literally just said, I don't have enough melanin to have dreadlocks. Which I was is just, joking on you, Jay. Uh, but not me, because I don't want dreadlocks. I don't. I literally don't want them, but like, you gotta, you can't say that. Like, especially if you I get know. them. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? So, huh? m- my point is that, um, I lost my point. Yep. Not the point, but it's funny because you say that. I recently, since my hair started getting longer, have been told by several black people that I look like Bob Marley. And I don't think I do, but it's funny. So it would be funny if I use this two-day or three-day festival to show up and all of a sudden totally flip modes and act like somebody I am not, nor do I want to be. I'm happy to be myself. But it would be really, really funny. Like, uh, you know, me and me and Jahidi are going to roll up like like he's Peter Tosh and I'm Bob Marley. And we'll just totally, and I'll be the main, because he's actually Jamaican. I'm just, you know, the only real relation I have to Bob Marley is that he used to live in Wilmington for like three years. So, <laughs> it would be funny, but I would not culturally appropriate something that is not myself to that degree. <laughs> oh and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Woo! All right. So, that's what's not happening in Delaware. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Local news. Yes. Wegmans! October 26th. October 26th. They are opening. There's a bunch of little stores that's going to be around there, too. So I Yeah, think I have some, awesome. some a little bit of disappointment about the surrounding stores, and I'm not going to name the ones that disappoint me, but I'll, I'll leave that at so that. So just name the stores that you know. All I know is Wegmans is going to be there. You don't know none there. of those? Uh, First Watch is going to be there. That's like a breakfast spot. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's going to be another La Tolteca there. Uh, so you'll have your Mexican food there, which is, I think, like, you have to have that everywhere. I don't care what you say. Um, there's also a 24-hour urgent care. Um, mm-hmm. So you'll have those pieces there. But listen, um, I can go between gross and snotty. And Are I... Are selling liquor? Or not liquor, but wine and beer? I assume so, but I don't know. I should... And the funny thing is, I don't really go there. I'm assuming they're going to be selling beer there according to normal state laws. And they'll have their own hours set according to what the laws are. But my main thing is, I'm excited to be able to go out at like 10 o'clock at night and get sushi. You know what I'm saying? Like just go out late at night and get something really quick and cheap around the corner. Because Wegmans will be at this point... Literally a two-minute drive for you me. You could walk there. I could. I really could li- legitimately I walk I there. I wouldn't do it. You shouldn't, but I could. Um, but it's it's. Uh, I'm I'm excited about it. You can say what you want about me and my snobbery. I go to Wegmans often, the way up up in Conquerville, and um, you know sometimes we'll do the dinner thing. I can't wait to just sit out there and you know be out there because I like Wegmans a whole lot, and I'll be fully supporting them, and that's it. All right. <laughs> yeah. They're looking to employ 450 people. That's a lot. Yes. This, but currently, they have to fill 185 That's a lot. part-time positions, which uh, includes food service, stocking, perishable departments, and maintenance. Yeah. So if you're also looking for some part-time work, this would be a great option. Um, so yeah. Woo! I yeah. Guess. I'm excited. How People have been waiting on this. I'm, I'm wired up. I was hoping it would be here by now, but I'll just keep waiting. It's great. Yes. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I wish I had a tissue. 
Oh boy. I I have been affected by the great plastic basket. Did you jack a basket? Recession at Target the other day. There were none because really? people stole it. I don't believe it. So wait, I walk in. I don't believe it. I walk in and I'm like, hey, can I have a basket? I don't believe it. Can I have a basket? And the woman was like, sorry, we don't have any. People have been stealing them. Like she meant that. That's unbelievable, people. <laughs> and me, her, and another lady got into a discussion like, what do you do with it when you're done? Because it's not like it's a it's a it's it's something you could use. Like it's not cute. And I feel like they're in like a weird and awkward position whereas like you're not gonna arrest a customer when you see right. them walking out with a basket because that creates an unnecessarily right. hostile environment. Right. But guys Give me that basket. <laughs> Put the basket down now. Like oh man. But it's just security, you know what I'm saying? But the so the guy's like Hey, uh, we need to get uh, some help down. over here right Pass now. We have a, a, a family of four walking out with baskets. Uh, we need backup immediately. Basket loose. Basket loose. <laughs> I mean, guys, like I have been affected. I have been affected by this basket recession. <laughs> I mean, you talk about an American first world problem. I, listen, I saw the report and I, we reported on it last week. I didn't believe it. And when you talk, when we, when we use the term negativity, I would like to be clear that negativity does not apply to just black people. Because it could be some poor people from all the different cultures involving themselves in negativity. It ain't even about race. That, it's just about That is class A First listen. world American negativity right there in the highest form. I it had to carry... Three boxes of of creamer, mm. of a pack of underwear for my Poor son. you. How did you get through your day? But I it's don't hysterical. know. I don't know. I barely <laughs> made it. Like, but I, I won't complain. Oh my god, I hate you. I can't. That don't. You. <laughs> Just know, I'm going to be looking. I'm going to be checking people. I'm going to be checking people. I'm going to be watching people who got baskets now. I'm going to be like, that person. Like, and how do you, once you walk out, like, you can walk out and be like, yo, I need to walk the basket to my car and get it out there. You know what I'm saying? But then once you've unloaded, is it just like you quickly throw it in the back seat and don't bring it back? That's what I'm thinking. Throw it in like, the trunk? Quick, you put it in your trunk. Or you just put the whole thing down. Like, and you know what I'm saying? I want to know, if y'all have seen your family members with a basket in their house, you need to have a conversation with them. Real rap. If I come to your house <laughs> and I see you got red baskets, I'm judging you. Well, I don't I'm, judge people no, you a know lot. what I'm doing? I'm going to grab them by the back of their shirt. They're going to have them pick up the basket and I'm dragging your ass back to Target. <laughs> Apologize. I'm going to take a picture of it in your house and check in. Like I'm... <laughs> and post you all over the social. We got a basket stealer in our in our. I, just, I can't amongst believe us. that I actually was affected by this. Like this woman literally said, um, "Yeah, people yeah. have been taking them," and I was like, "Excuse me." She was serious too. <laughs> y'all got to do better. <laughs> like, wow. What? Yeah. Cause that's like they gotta have at least a hundred baskets there, bruh. She was like, "You may find some floating around the store, but for the most part, people have been taking them." <laughs> what a basket case. I'm just trying to create YouTube clips. <laughs> Continue. You really make me wonder if I want to work with you anymore. I already know that I don't want to work with you, but I have to. So you know, we'll continue this thing going forward. So I went to a Pilates class yesterday. Got your pilot license? I don't get it. Pilates, how you spell it? No, no, that's not how you spell it. But I There's know, no but, but I'm. It's, and it's too. But if you can't spell and you misspell a lot, you might but call it Pilates. Pilates versus pilot. No. No, listen. If you no. if you've seen the way that some of these. Pi and pi. Pilots, get your pilot's license. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I'm gonna be quiet during this because I really want to hear the full story. I had no idea what Pilates was. All I saw was free class. <laughs> And <clears throat> I don't know if y'all noticed, but uh, <laughs> sis gained a little weight <clears throat> these past couple of months. So I was like, I got to do something with this this little extra oomph. And um, I didn't want to just go and, and just go to the gym because I actually have like a 
slight fear of that. But that's reasonable. I don't. I, I don't. Don't even say that quietly. Like you have. A, but I do. I a lot of people have that. I have. A, I have a fear of being watched. I have a fear of germs. <laughs> I have a fear of possibly farting while I'm doing the squat and people seeing it. Y'all don't I, realize that she farts several times over the course of an episode. Continue. Sorry. No, I don't. <laughs> No, I don't. I literally ran out of your house and went outside to fart mm -hmm. and then came back in. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's yeah, a lot. Continue. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, I was like, I still got to work out all oh, this mess that I have acquired. I can't say anything <laughs> so because you're now being called an offensive, toxic male. So go ahead. That's, you are one. But, I'm sure. Um, so I saw the free class and I signed up and I went yesterday. It's at the Club Pilates on 202 right next to Metro Diner near um, Trader Joe's. And it was a cute little class. We worked out a lot of stuff. I don't know what. I'm going to be honest. I had no idea what it was going in and I just still don't have an idea of what I... <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh, okay did. what did you actually like you don't have to get up and I demonstrate sat on some type of contraption uh -huh. and did a bunch of leg stuff and uh -huh. then we lifted some some stuff you and, did lift weights and not a weight okay um like we pulled things yeah like bands yeah bands and uh -huh. then we did some squats and mm -hmm. it was like a lot of stretching but there was a contraption that we were on mm -hmm. um so yeah and there were a few yoga poses and how do you feel right now? I feel fine. Okay, good. So like, I'm not, I How don't work out, but it was 30 minutes. Okay, go So ahead. that's the intro, but they're typically 50. So I don't work out, but sure. I am, I'm more, more I'm. You've been out a lot of people, but go ahead. No, I do yoga from time to time. Like I'll stretch. Like if I feel real bad, like my back, if I'm gardening or something, or I'm doing something, laundry or whatever, okay, I'll okay. stretch like okay. quite often. Um, but I don't work out like you or Lisa. Sure. Um, so the stretching wasn't an issue. I was more scared of like cardio stuff. No, no, that's legit. There was none of that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so after the class, you know, they tell you their breakdown. So right now they have until the September 1st, they have a 20% discount on their first month, but you have to sign up for a three month commitment. They have three different tiers. The d discount is only for the first two class, the first two, uh, tiers of memberships. It's really nice. The instructor was really nice. Um, if I had the money, I would definitely go, but sis ain't got coin like that, so <laughs> I gotta figure something else out. But if you're looking for something to do in a class setting, it was really, it was a cute little studio too. Um, and something that's like low impact. Was it all female? There were all women there. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it was all male. I don't, I don't know. No, the reason I ask is because a lot of women don't want to be working out around dudes because we're disgusting. So, you know oh, okay. what I'm saying? Well, that... there were no men there. So, yeah. So, I don't know, but I, I don't know what that means, it, it, you know. Yeah. So Club Pilates in uh, Wilmington, <clears throat> you can look them up online. So yeah, I just wanted to share my experience. As far as my workout journey, I gotta figure something else out. But so, listen, this isn't about me getting on a soapbox. But, but you're I, gonna go there because that's what you do when it comes to working out. So <clears throat> I've, I've said before that you know if you choose to get a gym membership or spend a lot of money uh you know at a, a crossfit place a pilates place a yoga studio to get in shape great do it um but if you are cheap like me and really don't have the extra money because you're spending you know I, my kids go to an expensive school all these things i got car payments and a house and you can't afford it you know you can work out at home you can work out for free in a lot of different places and i'm going to keep saying that because if you want a gym, please do it. I would never knock a gym. I worked out at gyms for a long time. Um, but for instance, and I'm not bragging, I'm trying to explain what I do to stay in shape for free and you can do it too. Like one thing I've started doing recently is if you go down to the Brandywine River, the Brandywine uh, Creek Park, yeah. whatever, down there by the Brandywine downtown, there's- Like where the Rose Garden is and all Yes, that. yes. That's a two mile loop that has four pieces of fitness equipment that you can use. Here's what I've been doing over the recent, uh, maybe past month. I'll jog the loop and do each piece of equipment. So, and I'll do it twice. So that gives me uh, about four and a half miles of a run. And I've done a lot of pull-ups, push-ups. Four and a half miles? But you don't have to go that far. It's open and free. That's what I'm saying. So you can go half of it. 
Okay. Go a mile. That's like that's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to brag or like overwhelm you, but like you can go that far, or you can go halfway and do a mile. So if you're just starting out, as an example, number one, you could just walk and do push-ups. But if you want to get outside and not have to be around a whole lot of people watching you and get fresh air and not spend money, you could go there. You could start out by walking a mile from the one end of where the bridge is down to Market Street. And over the course of that, there are two or maybe three pieces of equipment where you could do a set of push-ups, you could do some dips, and you could do a lot of different things. And that could be the start of your free workout journey. If you want to add more, do the full loop. That's two miles. And then they have another two pieces of equipment where I you don't have to do what I do, okay? You can do pull-ups, you can do muscles ups, you can do all kinds of muscles different things. Up. Muscle ups, I'm sorry. Um, so my point is that you do not have to spend a lot of money to get yourself in good shape. There are options. So if you're <laughs> on that journey where you're ready to start it, there are options. And I have no problems with someone reaching out to me specifically because I don't spend money on it. There's no need. If you want to, great. And I'll leave it at that. All and right. I commend you for trying something new. After four hours. <laughs> Listen, it's true, man. Y'all got it. It's possible. You wrote me your Biden $750 yes. million. Yes. Let me pull this up. So, I mean, I kind of feel like I feel like we can we should talk about this a little bit because it's a big piece of legislation that was recently passed. Where are we um, getting all this money from? Like, every time I turn around, <laughs> four billion here, four gazillion here, 1,200 million trillion chameleon. Like... I thought we ain't got no money to fix, you which, know. No, no, no. Which, what's happening is we're putting it on a credit card. What? Who? Who? Is this the bank of God? <laughs> you better be careful, Naj, because all of a sudden people are going to think you're a fiscal conservative. And as okay. soon as you hear the word conservative, people get mad and upset and think that you're, you know, the downfall of the nation. I, I, you know what I, I am? No, real. I'm a brokey who don't understand. If y'all say we broke. Where are we getting this money from? Because if I'm broke and I can't get no money, where y'all getting this money from? But I <laughs> love the fact that your first question was, where are we getting all this money from? I just want to know, like, if, they, if, it's, if it's the bank of God, like, let me know what prayer chain I need to join. Because I'm confused. I'm confused. Like, I, I'm like, Lord, this electric bill is a little high. And Uncle Biden, Uncle Joe, seems to have that line of credit from the, the Lord. Is he talking to Zeus? He's doing, he's, he's. Maybe he's, I need to talk to Zeus. It, well, they got prosperity gospel and they got prosperity politics. You know what I'm saying? And, and he's connected to that line. You know what I'm saying? He's like, uh, what's the, what's the dude? Uh, that my, oh, I forget his name. My but God. never mind. But I'm going to give you guys some details. And now that you've opened up this, this door, I love that that was your reaction because I think that that's a legitimate and realistic <laughs> reaction. Like, whoa. Well, that's a lot of money. Is so let me. Is we giving money away? What? Wait a minute. I'm gonna read some details, and you react accordingly. Okay. Okay. All right. The sweeping bill allocates more than 300 billion to be invested in energy and climate reform. It's the largest federal clean energy investment in U.S. history, although it falls short of what the progressive Democrats and climate activists had originally called for. Um, it includes 60 billion for boosting renewable energy infrastructure and manufacturing like solar panels and wind turbines and includes tax credits for electric vehicles and measures to take home more energy efficient stuff. How does that sit with you? That's part of it. So that last part interests me because in California, you have some type of credit or something, mm -hmm. a highway thing where mm -hmm. if you have an energy efficient car, you can drive in this lane. Or you can be here but after every few years it changes because your energy efficient car isn't as energy efficient and you have to keep getting a new one so Naj everything you're saying is really intelligent and it, it, it isn't um, you, you could if I took that clip of you saying that you would quickly and unfairly be lumped in uh, with conservatives to a degree. I don't understand what that means. Be because there's this absurd rift in our country. Don't yell at me. I don't <laughs> where it's like you are hardcore progressive and support everything. But or you're I, hardcore. But, and, but there's an in-between place where people feel like, okay, number one, you should be able to obtain an abortion if you're a female. But also, why are we spending so much ding-dang money? And all of the things that they're saying about 
you know, clean energy isn't, you know, as clean <laughs> as it sounds. So continue, please, because that was you're you're thinking objectively, and it's great to see. <laughs> And it's, a, it's, it's the beauty of people who aren't tied into politics all the time. It's like common sense. Like, wait a minute. Where did all this money come from? Continue, please. I'm literally lost. I don't know. You're what, not, though. I don't understand what you mean by conservative mm -hmm. or progressive. And, you, and I'm glad all you I don't. All I know is, I just wanted to, can I have some money, too? Can I call on that credit line? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be posting this part for sure. This is, <laughs> this is perfect. It's exactly. I just, uh, I don't know how. <laughs> so there's also, keep reacting. Okay. Now, there's two more pieces to this. There's another part where uh, that has to do with health care. Um, the bill enables the federal health care health secretary to negotiate the prices of some drugs for Medicare. It also caps out-of-pocket prescription drug costs for people on Medicare at $2,000, effective in 2025. The bill also provides a three-year extension on health care subsidies, blah, 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 blah. Reaction? <laughs> so, it's saying that it has made it so that the poor people who can't afford their they stuff still can't afford their stuff. It stops at $2,000 if you're poor. Like I just said. Mm -hmm. The two poor people who couldn't afford it in the first place still can't afford it. $2,000. We'll cap them at $2,000. But, but the money was allocated towards the health care. Last thing. So now I'm a conservative? That's what that is? No, you're not. But no. these are... No, you is, know what I am? There's... I am um, ignorant to what the hell any of this is. Man, and that's okay, but what you're doing is thinking about these problems and solving them in a way that everyone should agree upon. Like, it's... it's Last thing, all right? Uh, corporates. Corporate stuff, right? Okay. Um, minimum tax for corporations making $1 billion or more in income is estimated to bring in over... Wait, hold on. Um, no, that's not what I want to say. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay. Um, uh, well, there's a minimum tax for corporations, blah, 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 blah. But... Here it says in an article from CNN, you know, the liberal news network, those crazy liberals. So this is, you know, their spin on it. It said, despite the bill's name, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office says the Inflation Reduction Act, that's what it's called, will have a negligible effect on inflation in 2022 and 2023. So I'm not knocking it, but there are, there's a, 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 a legitimate uh, space for questions about what got passed. And your questions came up very logically and i appreciate your response to them you know i know that there's probably going to be some great things coming out of this but like you know i don't want to stay bogged down in these kind of polit political discussions it's the illuminati it's the illuminati that's what let's is. just leave it at that it's Clear the illuminati that's i gotta make a sacrificial offering yeah come on jay I need to go. I'm chop off my foot. <laughs> you to take my foot. I don't know. Continue, but okay. just recognize what just happened there, guys, real quick. Like, I don't care about where you stand politically. I just, you know, yeah, I just want to say you lit you. So he said several things: progressive, conservative, liberal, and nonpartisan. And I'm tired of. Oh, I, my brain hurts. I don't want to talk about this shit no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just nope. let the, like, just, I'm over it. Okay. What's going on elsewhere? Mm -hmm. So, I'm sure you guys remember um, when Kobe Bryant and his, his daughter and seven, him, them and within, I think it was seven people mm -hmm. who died in a helicopter crash. And um, currently, Vanessa Bryant is in the heat of a case where she's suing <clears throat> the sheriff's department. I think it's in L.A. or Calabasas or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, because they shared amongst deputies uh, listen. photos from the crash site mm -hmm. of her husband and her that. daughter and the other victim. Good morning, Gransleen. Good morning, Miss Shaw. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Um, and they were sharing it in video game while playing video games at a local bar. I think one comment was made that they didn't see the harm in it. Yeah. Um, some other comments were that she was being overly dramatic and that it never got to the public, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, death at, is not entertainment, but go ahead. At one point, they were describing what was in the pictures and she asked to be removed from court. Like, she was physically, like just sick and i just i want to know 
I was having this conversation with my husband one time about this desensitization of things like that. Like, we are so used to seeing killings and torture and stuff in movies that mm -hmm. when we see real life stuff, we're yeah, a bit desensitized. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this was a perfect example of that. You know, why they thought it was okay to pull out your phone and take photos of no matter who it was. It's just a respect thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But de de decency and respect, like, it's gross. Like, I mean, even to the... Uh, not to, go ahead, you continue. Sorry. I just feel really bad. Number one, she has to relive it. Like, in detail. What's going on. And I don't... I don't know how she's been able to stay, stay so strong because just the thought of losing my child, not, let alone my husband, but my child, like, oh my God. And then to know that someone was you was, was sending photos of my poor child's bod, lifeless body, you know, and, and talking about it and making, you know, light of it, like, ugh, it's just sickening. And I don't know how people like that are, are okay with living with themselves and how they could be so nonchalant. But I pray that she finds some peace and I pray that she gets justice because that, that's absolutely disgusting. I know. So, yeah. Um, Triller is being sued for $28 million. Yeah, I just noticed that today that, uh, you know, Swiss Beats and uh, Timberland are suing Triller, who have been, I guess, sort of the corporation behind all the versus battles that, like, a, a huge <laughs> chunk of the world, honestly, has been enjoying. Um, and I don't really, again, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to start making opinions and, 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 and um, you know, saying things that I'm totally ignorant about. But um, I hope that Swiss Beats and Timberland get what they're due. And if, you know, they're making things up, I hope that's not the case too. But like, you know, uh, the whole versus thing, which came kind of right in the middle of the um, panorama, uh, the panorama of the pandemic. Uh, I, I think it really played a role in helping some people to keep their spirits up through that time. And I remember when Jill Scott and Erica Badu did their... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was nothing like what it is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, they yeah. were literally in their own homes, set up, yeah. on their phone, yeah. playing music, like... Yeah. Ugh, I, I just... Yeah, no, it, there were some beautiful moments and yeah. some really cool things, and it kind of brought back people at certain times, and you got to see their yeah. artists in a different light. Mm -hmm. And it was a really... Um, it was a really cool thing that I can appreciate. I never got super into it, but I, I could appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, considering that, I, as far as I understand, it is the brainchild of those two, Timberland and Swiss Beats. Uh, it would really be crappy if they're being, you know, if they aren't getting paid what they deserve. Because they uh, deserve a lot of credit for creating that. It's been like a new part of the culture, yeah. of hip-hop culture, and um, of modern American culture, quite frankly. And uh, I, I hope that they're not getting jerked because that would not be cool. And it's just, I, you know, I mean, people do people dirty in all different kinds of industries, but it's just, there's just, with entertainment and music, it just, it gets so tiring. And I'll, I'll yes. leave it at that. I just hope that they get what they deserve because they really did create something that was uh, uh, valuable. Pretty dope, yeah. yes, and valuable. Um, <clears throat> Angela Yee made an announcement last mm -hmm. week that she is leaving The Breakfast Club. She mm -hmm. tweeted that The Breakfast Club, as we know it, has come to an end. So and now it's time for America to start really embracing Naj and Jay as your new replacements for The Breakfast Club. The only thing is, I'm not into, like, butt jokes. I guess I'm like, No worries, because I am. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can fill that gap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Does that mean we gotta get a third person? No, absolutely not. No. Oh, okay, we, 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 calm, down. calm down. Calm no. down, okay? No, I get nervous with <laughs> too many people in the room. I don't need a whole bunch of extra conflict, but no. Mm -mm. Where's our, wait a minute, where's our unicorn? Oh, my bad. Uh, go ahead, keep talking. Talk about something. <laughs> I get the unicorn. So, a lot of people were saying that the show will never be the same. But other people are like, they're kind of glad because Angelique Yee doesn't really add value. I will say, I believe she adds value. Every team member, when you start something out, every team member adds value. What I feel like she added, you're going to break it. No, doesn't matter. Oh, my God. You're, you're making me uncomfortable. You're making me uncomfortable. Oh, my God. You're going to break no, 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 no. our set. All right, all right. <laughs> I think she made, she added the substance to it because... 
Charlemagne and DJ Envy can sometimes go off the rails and just sound absolutely just dumb. But she has actual legit questions. She does the research, or at least her assistants do the research, and she comes to the table with, you know, substantial questions and discussion points. Um, What's she going to be doing next? She's she going to be doing her own show. Oh, that's, that's so dope. So she already has a podcast. She's moving like into like the Oprah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like she'll yeah, start yeah. Picking that so up. she'll be doing her own show. Um, no word on if they will be um, replacing her, but lots of people have been saying, "Call me," you know. Hey, um, I. They've been, I think, on 12 years. I don't know. And I, I'm just happy to see that they're all evolving. They all have their own things going for them. And I wish her the best. And I wish the Breakfast Club the best. Yeah, 12 years is a long time. A decade is a, is a, is a significant amount of time yes. in pop culture. So. And especially right. when there are so many moments mm -hmm. that we can replay and replay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so we're going to be the next. Slowly but surely. Keep going. Yeah. Um, now it's time. Yes. For this is... everyone's favorite segment. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Florida Man. Mm -hmm. So let me just preface this with I saw this this morning and I almost fell out. I So we purposefully leave me out of this loop so that I can just <laughs> react. So I don't know what she's about to say either. And I have pictures. <laughs> can you put the pictures? I would see. This is where we need production. You know, but go ahead. I'm going to put the... Oh, you know what? I'm going to put the pictures in the comments right now on the live. Okay. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Give me two seconds. Everybody hold tight. Naja... Hold your mule. ...is posting uh, images of the Florida Man story for this one. Oh, no. It won't let me. So that's okay. Pull up the pictures and I'll bring them up on the screen. I think you'll be able to see it from the phone, actually, once you... Once you All right. Uh, let me read you the, the title, though. Okay. So Florida Man... Armless. <laughs> oh no, I'm already uncomfortable. Someone's gonna get offended. I can hear someone getting offended already. Go ahead. <laughs> Armless Florida man accused of stabbing tourist. Armless Florida man accused of stabbing tourist. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> A homeless Florida man <laughs> with no arms. Oh man. Has been arrested for stabbing a tourist with scissors using his feet. He was armed and unarmed oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh my god i mean we should just stop now uh, the the victim said he was asking the man's name is well did he no the police came up and said well was your assailant armed <laughs> and he was like I, my, <laughs> both <laughs> the man's name is Crenshaw oh. and well I, I got, that's it. the no. victim said he was asking Crenshaw for directions when the man suddenly attacked him stabbing him in the arm before fleeing on foot <laughs> but he, so he stabbed him with his foot and then ran off I cannot! I don't like watching certain levels of violence, but I want to see that happen. Oh my god. <clears throat> he said, I just said to him, do you know where this is? But as soon as I talked, the only thing he did was react. He cut me. 
Oh my God. And let me show you the pictures. When you see this photo, I'm telling you, we're going to put this in the chat. This is the photo. <laughs> now flee. Flee on foot. I, oh my God, child. This, this was as of yesterday. <laughs> well. Everybody, it's been real. I can't. I hope you had a great evening. Uh, stop, and stop trying to stab me. We are done. Everyone have a lovely rest of your day. <laughs> Naj and Jay is out and exhausted. <laughs> Toodles! <laughs> oh, my.